Hey, you disgusting reptiles. Welcome to part two of episode one of Melting Down with Mothrin. So, uh, get ready to talk about a few more topics with me in a very intense fashion. Let's go. It's the hottest weekend literally in human history. What are we doing, y'all? This is how the dinosaurs fucking died. Listen, I, I, I am epileptic. I am very sensitive to the heat. Now, I love running outside in my yard shirtless and scaring my neighbors, but just like anybody else, but I haven't been running not once this, this summer because I'm scared that I'm gonna drop dead of a seizure. Listen, Hawaii is on fire. Our hearts go out to everybody who is suffering right now. Um, unfortunately, all of this mess, like all of this heat index, the heat dome that apparently we're about to be living in here in Tennessee, um, it's a dangerous manufacturization of humanity. Like, listen, I I identify as kind of a capitalist. Oh no, Mothy comes out as a capitalist. Uh, listen, we're living in late capitalism. We're gonna have to lean in at some point. But just as MIA says, oh, here's MIA again. Just as MIA says, you know, we can have capitalism, but can we not like just make money off of other people's bullshit. You know, there are factories where there are just children that never see the light of day. That's kind of fucked up, don't you think? Yes, it is. So yeah, uh, I, listen, we're, this is the coolest summer that, you know, you've seen the meme, the Simpsons meme. This is the coolest summer that we're gonna ever experience for the rest of our lives. We're gonna have to get used to the heat. And while I really consider myself a girl of summer, I think that we're gonna have to really hold our legislators and our governments to the motherfucking fire because y'all, the disabled people, the housing insecure people, the uh, children and the old people and the sick, are, we're the ones who are gonna suffer first. We're the ones who are gonna die in this heat first. So, you know, I encourage you right now, listen, you can put the Starbucks down for right now. Go and buy a big crate of water, keep it in the back of your car and make sure that you're always able to hand a housing insecure person when they are hot a couple bottles of water. It's the least that you can do, motherfucker. Moving on to our next pocket of topics. Darling, I fucking hate Republicans. Listen, you stupid motherfuckers. If you think that you're gonna get away on this podcast, you better think again. I am gonna, listen, darling, I roast him up, darling. Roast him up, fried up like bacon. I am so excited. The past couple days, uh, there have not been, you know, uh, Donald Trump's mugshot got released, which God, don't he look like a toasted circus peanut if I have ever seen one. But uh, I had no idea that it was gonna feel like Christmas seeing tens and tens and dozens of these stupid motherfuckers getting uh, apprehended and getting their mug shots, you know, from Rudy Giuliani to every other like person that conspired with that horrible orange stupid motherfucker. Listen, we have been, for the kids that don't remember, we, the millennials, do remember the night in 2016 when Hillary lost. Speaking of which, I think Hillary should run again. I just want her to do it for the chaos of it. Anyway, I digress. Um, Listen, we saw Hillary loss, lose in real time and we felt the texture of our dimension change and become sandpaper, baby. Everything that we're going through right now culturally, it doesn't have to happen. It doesn't have to be this way. You know, the boomers just made it this way along with their psychotic, stupid children that they brainwashed with religion and Republican conservative ideals, which speaking of which, it's not just the religious. There are some queers out there that are not on our side. Listen, I am so tired of getting handed the line where it's like, well, you know, I'm socially liberal, but I'm fiscally conservative. Fiscally conservative means you're gonna make money off of other people's blood, motherfuckers. I'm so sick of that shit. You're either with us or you're against us. And uh, put your money where your mouth is. But listen, if you ain't voting, me and you cannot be fucking friends. Let me say it again. If you do not vote in local elections and in presidential elections, Mothi and you cannot be friends. Honestly, I have enough friends. I don't want to be your friend anyway. But the only way that you're going to make it into my heart and into my good graces if you is if you take 15 minutes out of your day, you make a plan, you go to your voting area, and then you get your little sticker that says, I voted, motherfucker. <sighs> I have much more to say about stupid Republicans and uh, people that I don't agree with, but uh, I'm out of time in this topic. So I'm gonna cool down for a moment and we're gonna move on to our final topic of the evening. Now, our final topic, 
<laughs> Our final topic of the evening is stalkers. Don't be a stalker. Here are some ways not to be a stalker. Don't send me numerous text messages saying, oh, I love you, Mothy. You're so beautiful. Your heart's so great. I just want to hold your hand. Can I get a hug? Uh, don't follow me around at venues saying, Mothy, I love you. Do you love me? I don't know you. You're a stranger. Uh, do you, you know, my mama used to say, if you don't know somebody and they're following you, that's stranger danger. Uh, as you listen, and baby, do not show up in front of my house. There is absolutely, even if you are my best friend in the world, you are to call me or send me a text message letting me know that your presence is about to be in my orbit because I scare easily. And remember, I sleep with a mermaid dagger next to me in my bed. So if I get scared and your hand is coming through my door, that hand is about to be mine, motherfucker. I'm going to pickle it in a jar and use it to cast spells. I'm trying not to cut my own finger off. That's why I took a pause. Now, speaking of pause, kitty paws. I love cats. <laughs> Meow. Uh, I'm a cat girl. Woo. Really getting, you know, going for all kinds of audience across the internet. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Stalkers. Listen, darling. I am the most low level, like, like bottom feeder, like gay famous. Like the, the, you know where I'm famous at? Australia. Because there are so many Australian conservatives that send me death threats every single day. Because videos of me getting arrested by the police went viral over there or something. Listen, I know what they're doing. They're all thinking about me after they're done talking on their dumb videos. Let me take a drink. <coughs> Darling, don't be a grabber. Don't be a stalker. Uh, I am so happy to have people that admire my work, that like engaging with my work, that are inspired by the persona that I have created. But don't think for two seconds that we're fucking best friends or nothing. I have enough friends. Listen, I want money. I want money. I want accessories. I want fashion. I want you to buy things for me. I want you to buy artwork for me. I want you to compliment me on my makeup. And then guess what? If I see you at a venue, I only want to talk for a second. I only want to talk for a second. And then like Mariah Balenciaga, I'm going to give you an out. I'm going to say, okay, darling. Well, I think that I'm going to go and get a nice Sprite from the bar now. Uh, and then that's your chance to walk away from me. If you grab my arm and you continue talking to me, I'm going to bite you. I'm going to bite your neck and I'm going to keep biting until my teeth meet. I hate the taste of blood, but I love the taste of... I hate the taste of blood, but I love the taste of chicken. And spicy chicken is my favorite taste. Now, my darlings, that exhausts all of our topics. For, oh, oh, where's that ringing coming from? Probably just the inside of my own head, as per usual. These aren't real flowers, but I put perfume on them so they would feel like real flowers. I'm spraying it rather than saying it. And darling, that's not going to put out any fire. Now, Darlings, that concludes our topics for today. I am so happy that I got to melt down with you this evening. Let's get to our outro. Thank you for tuning in to Melting Down with Mothy. At the end of every episode of Melting Down with Mothy, I'd like to do some magic. So today we're going to pull a tarot card. The tarot cards that I'm featuring today are the Terra del Fuego by Ricardo Calvello. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's my favorite deck of cards. So, the card that we're pulling today is, ooh, the Ten of Swords. It means imminent doom, betrayal, and getting stabbed in the back. Well, darling, that is certainly what this year has felt like over and over and over and over for Mothy. So, you know, you can uh, take the knife right out of my back and right out of my eye by, uh, you know, sending me a little bit of money on Venmo, on Cash App. You can find me on all those platforms at Magical Miss Mothy. And I will use that money very judiciously to pour back into myself, to buy myself accessories, and to produce projects that I'm interested in doing, even if nobody else wants them. Now, Tiffany, my co-star. Hi, Tiffany. She's my silent co-star. Not great for helping out with topics has been here supporting me the entire time. And I want to take a moment as, you know, your queen of, of gay gay land or fucking whatever, um, to thank you for your support, darling. It means the world to me. When in doubt, light a match and blow everything up. I hope that you have a beautiful life and a beautiful career. And please be sure not to unalive yourself. I'm Moth Moth Moth, AKA Magical Miss Mothy. And I'll see you next time on Melting Down with Mothy. <laughs>